Uh. <laughs> so you can edit all this, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh. Hey everyone, welcome to a very special episode of Hear Me Out. My guest today is my husband, Martin. Welcome. <laughs> this is very much out of his comfort zone, so I appreciate him being here. But I've had a ton of questions about hearing loss and relationships, so who better to ask than a hearing person and what it's been like kind of navigating that. So before I get into the questions that people have sent in, I'll tell you a little bit about us. Um, we met back in May 2016. And we are now married and have a beautiful daughter. We've been together uh, just over eight years. And um, I was diagnosed with hearing loss five months into our relationship. Right? Yeah, it's okay. about, yeah, about five months. So he's been with me through the entire journey. And uh, yeah, it's been yeah. a lot. We've seen a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's been good. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, that was a really quick little introduction. Do you want to say anything about yourself? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> um, sorry, we're getting the giggles here. All right, so let's start with the first question. What was your reaction when I told you that I had to get a hearing aid? Um, I was a little shocked, I suppose, because you don't really... I, I didn't know any people so young that needed hearing aids. Like, you see a lot of people with glasses but you don't really meet many folks that have hearing loss at a young age but i mean when it started it was very mild i think and you weren't really wearing your no, one like hearing it. aid at the time because you're kind of fighting it so i didn't really even like it didn't make a difference i don't think yeah i think maybe when it got a little more severe i think it took like you know maybe a bit more adjusting i guess but yeah fair enough that's true. I was very stubborn to wear my hearing aid at the beginning because it was so mild and because I still had one good ear. Um, and probably too because we were still new to dating, so maybe you felt conscious about wearing it around me, perhaps. Maybe subconsciously. Maybe a little bit, you know. But could be. I think yeah. I think you were just a little like most people, I guess, when they get hearing loss and they have to wear a hearing aid that's so visible. Yeah. Um, I guess it's a bit of adjustment, right? That's true. Um, the next question is, how did I feel about telling him? about my hearing loss. And to be honest, I don't really remember how I told you. I think I just straight up was like, I have to get a hearing aid. Cause I was so distraught when I got the news that I called my parents first. I remember you calling and called crying. You. But like, I, I just always felt comfortable with you. I think that's maybe why, <laughs> you know, we're together. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't think I had any like worries to tell you but I remember being really upset with the news. Yeah, because I remember you going in thinking you had like water in your ear because yeah. you were swimming that weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a bit of a shock, I suppose, but. Yeah, but I mean. You gotta do what you gotta do, yes. right? Like, yeah. Okay, next question. Um, what have I communicated to you that I need and how do I advocate for myself? Honestly, this one's tricky because we're both bad for like yelling at each other in the other rooms or like, just continuously talking as we leave in different directions. Maybe we're chasing our daughter or something. And so it's one of those things that I think that's just life. And so if there is something that I need from you, I do tell you directly. Yeah. Like if we're out walking our dog and he gets too far ahead, I'm like, I can't hear you. You got to walk beside me. Like, yeah, I think like the biggest thing you told me is for me to like look at you when I'm speaking to you or face you when I'm speaking to you. Yeah. Sometimes when we're walking, like the dog's pulling me one way exactly. and I'm saying something like, in another direction, you <laughs> yeah. might not pick it up. Yeah, but I mean, I all think. relationships have those little yeah. communication frustrations, I think. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I'm, I'm bad at yelling at you from the other room. Yeah, that's like the worst thing when you're talking to me. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you cannot hear me. To be honest, sometimes I yell because I want him to come to me knowing he'll have to come to me to answer, which is not fair, I yeah. know. But I mean, we do what we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, get, we, we are, get by. We are who we are. I will say one of the biggest things that he was, like, the greatest for what I advocated was when I was in labor. And, like, before, you know, I had our birth plan. And I showed him how to put in my hearing aids and take them out and change my batteries. Because I didn't know when, like, you've never had a baby before. Like, you don't know what it's going to look like. So yeah. I was like, I need to make sure he knows how to, like, help me do with that. And that was, that was big. Yeah. I feel and, like, pretty comfortable with hearing it now. Yeah. <laughs> talking to the doctors and just making yeah. sure that I heard. Well, that's another thing too. Like when we go to appointments, like yeah. for hearing stuff, like I'm um, there like a second year, perhaps sometimes, like if you don't, if yeah. you don't catch something. Which I appreciate. And yeah. it's very helpful. And it also helps you understand too more what I'm going through. Yeah, stuff definitely. Like that. It's not easy for sure, but no. I mean, 
You have handled it well. Yeah, thank you. I think we've already kind of touched on this, but is there anything that annoys you about my hearing loss? Oh, uh, number one annoyance about your hearing loss is when you don't have your hearing aids in and you try talking to me, <laughs> like from the shower. Yeah. And I'm like, kind of just talking, to talking onto my own breath. Like, <laughs> it's hard. I guess, yeah. I guess as a previously hearing person and then not hearing, yeah, sometimes hard. you forget that you don't have them in. Oh, well, sometimes Perhaps. I just. Or maybe do it to spite me. I don't know. <laughs> no, never. But sometimes it just get lost in the moment. And because I had hearing up until the age of 25, it's just one of those things I think old habits die hard. No, yeah, for sure. Right? Yeah, definitely. Um, but no, really, like, it's really not bad. Um, the only time, like I said, is if, if you're talking to me from another room and I know I'm yeah. going to have to yell or <laughs> I know you don't have them in in the morning and you're trying to come have a conversation with me. Yeah. So it's like a game of charades at that point, right? It's like, We're not good at charades yeah. either. We're, that's not good. <laughs> um, I think too, like becoming new parents, that was one of the hardest things is in the night if our daughter wakes up or if she's sick and I don't have my ears in, it is really hard. And yeah. sometimes I can't get to my hearing aids in time because I don't store them in the same room that I sleep in. And so, so yeah, that it, I think that's a frustration for me too that I just can't hear without my hearing aids. Yeah, I, I mean. could imagine that being kind of hard. Yeah. Uh, Anywho, next question. Um, have you ever encountered discrimination and how have you supported me? I don't think we have. I wouldn't say discrimination, but there have definitely been some like weird comments. Like when we met with our uh, minister before we got married, he made a really weird comment what about like say? how I speak really clearly for someone with hearing loss. Hmm. And both of us were just like, okay. Like, I mean, that's not discrimination by any means, but sometimes there's weird comments, but like, Nothing that requires... Yeah. The only thing I could think of is, like, the hearing guy in Toronto at the hospital that was talking super quietly. Oh, yeah. Early on in my... <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah, I mean, nah, I can't say any, like, particular yeah. discrimination. Yeah, like, sometimes if he notices someone's not speaking clearly, you have been like, do you mind speaking up? Like, she has hearing loss. Like, you, you will step in sometimes. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, again, not discrimination, but just... But you're also really good at speaking up for yourself. What? Like, you're really good at speaking up for oh, yourself. Oh, thank you. So. Thank you. Um... Okay, next question. Mm -hmm. Did you ever hesitate to continue to pursue this relationship when I did tell you? No, I don't think I hesitated to, like, pursue the relationship. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was taken aback a little bit, like, how we're going to, like, date somebody with hearing aids. And I guess there's a bit of a stigma attached to hearing aids, too, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, but no, I don't think so. Like, and also, too, is, like... At first, it started just with one, and you weren't really right. wearing it, so like it was almost like nothing changed at the time. That's true. Maybe when you like, maybe maybe in the beginning, like if you had to wear both at the same time, and the relationship was so fresh, maybe I would yeah. have seen it a little differently. Like, but I mean, I think it would have just been a not nice for me to you just dump, me just just dump you over that. Like, what if you know the yeah. kind of position was reversed, right? So that's true, and I think like because it's not. Um, news you expect to have you really don't know until you're in that situation yeah. how you're gonna react but i think like if you're with the right person they'll accept you for whoever you are whatever you become you know like it's i mean like, i just think like treat others how you want to be treated so if, if i got the hearing loss and you dumped me i would have been like what the hell? you know like that's yeah. not cool so, so no true. i mean i think we're good together like it's Aww, well, that's I've never, nice to hear. <laughs> i've never thought about no it's, it's all good no, I'm just pushing you. Um, okay, well, those were all the questions. This isn't going to be as long of an episode as normal. But if there is ever anything you're curious about, about dating with hearing loss, please let us know in the comments below. Um, I really appreciate you coming on. I know this yeah. is super... It's not my comfort zone in the video. <laughs> it's not for everybody. I mean, no. I didn't think I was going to be a YouTuber. Not that I'm a YouTuber, but like a video maker either. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> right on. <laughs>